Welcome to the Neon Clock Assignment. This one's either going to be, and it's up to you, before the cartoon assignment, um, if you have a lot of time, or um, during or after the um, cartoon assignment. So it's called Guide 9, but we're going to just leave it as it's up to you when you want to do it. This is the Illustrator file. This one is in your zipped folder or in the um, folders that are for the Neon clock assignment on the resources drive. Um, check out my layer palette and see uh, what everything is all about. Um, and since you already have a lot of Illustrator under your belt already, um, I'm not going to have to show every pen, every path, every technique, and every turning of a curve. Um, so I'm going to, this is going to be kind of like a general series of movies. Um, so um, please reference my Illustrator file, which I'm going to close now and um, reference the uh, neon clock guide and I'm gonna of course try to go step by step on this guide um, but I'm gonna separate these into a series of movies which is what I say in step one I I just want you to understand that I'm gonna highlight this line while many instructions are provided you will have some latitude in choosing elements and selecting colors this is your assignment it's for your portfolio so just you have some fun with it okay I say down here feel free to add more features as well okay so it's up to you now to really get off and make these movies efficient let's go back to where it says to begin right here and let's get close on it and I want you to see how I'm going to create the first circle put the guides in there change so I'm going to be doing um, uh, change the uh, the um, size of the artboard is what I was going to say to 13 by 13 from eight and a half by 11 so I'm going to go kind of fast on this assignment and I would like you guys to just try to um, keep up so I'm going to do step like two three four um, five six seven eight I and uh, I'm going to end this one on step number eight okay and then there's going to be the second movie will just be for creating the logo not necessarily just my logo but the logo. Um, so um, to start off with you have an eight and a half by eleven page and I wanted you to get used to the artboard so you double click the artboard tool which is next to the knife in the tools palette and let's just go 13 by 13 which by the way is going to change later when you want to do the outside of the neon clock and the size I use 16 by 16 you're going to use something totally different maybe okay so I'm going to um, click OK and now I'm going to click away from the artboard by just clicking any one of the tools I use the selection tool. Now, um, the guides stuff that's here, you're going to be using hide guides, which is command colon, or option command colon, which is lock guides. I'm going to unlock the guides at the moment. I'm going to pull a vertical, um, I'm sorry, a horizontal guide out and just leave it right there. And I'm going to hit the A key for the direct selection tool. I'm going to marquee it so it's actually selected. Over here is the transform palette. When it's a horizontal guide, you use the Y coordinate, and I'm going to put in 6.5 and hit the return key. Now it's directly in the center. I'm going to pull out a horizontal, a vertical guide, and I'm going to use the X ruler to actually place this one at 6.5. And I'm going to hit the return key. Now I've got my guides placed in, and you can see I've even made a guides layer. Uh, I'll lock the guides layer for now, okay? And now it wants me in the very first step. It says I'm um, in the very f in, in the second page first step. Um, number five, it wants me to make a layer called clock layer. So let's double click this, call it clock layer, and I'll choose uh, brick red is fine for me. And I lock the guides layer, and now it wants me to use um, the ellipse tool, which is the L key, and just double click it and make this 11 by 11. Now wherever it appears on the page is fine. I just want you to look up here, and I'm going to hold the control key down, and I'm going to zoom in on this upper thing. Use the align palette, or in the options palette up here, use the align horizontal so it, you can fit it there, and the align vertical. Now I'm going to go backwards so you can see it snap into the vertical one here, okay? So now I'm going to use align vertical or vertical align to the center, and I have it there. Now obviously it doesn't have any stroke or fill, so I'm going to add a black stroke just so when we click away from it you can see it. 
The next step, number six, says double click the scale icon, so fine, with it selected, double click the scale icon and put in 80%. Now make a copy of it. So don't click OK, click copy. And now, whoops, I didn't have the whole thing selected, which actually is good. You know, you can make a copy of something that is a portion of something if with the direct select tool you only select it. I should have selected it by with the selection tool or held the option key with the direct select so all the points are solid. Or, because there's always an or, I could have clicked the radial button over here or the square button or um, it's probably one or two or three other ways. I could have marqueed it, which is another whole way to select it. So I'll double click the scale tool, put in 80%, click copy, and now I have the inside circle. I'm going to go back to the V key so I can get out of that and I'm going to hit command S to save. Name yours your last name, Neon Clock, and now you are to position the logo. So um, step number seven is, it says, uh, make a template. So let's go down here, and you know templates go on the bottom and clicky copies go on the top. So let's double click layer, the next layer, and let's make a template. And now, I'll change that one to blue. I don't know why I am. Now let's go um, make sure everything else is locked up for the moment. Template is the only thing unlocked. I'm going to use the Detroit Tiger one here, obviously, because that's what the handout was and that's what my art was. And let's go in and um, use File Place. And let's locate where wherever you put your logo. Okay, here's my Tiger logo. And I'm going to make sure that link is not selected this time. I want you to embed this one in there. Because uh, you're only going to have it in there for the length of the artwork and it's going to be deleted later. Okay, so there's no reason to keep it. And it's not that big an image, all right, in uh, memory size. So now I have it right there, and it wants you to visually, I'll go get the handout so you can see, it wants you to visually um, center it in there. So here's where I actually centered mine visually. I'll get a little closer to that. You can see where I centered mine visually in there. Not necessarily perfectly in the center, because technically perfect is not visually acceptable most of the time. So let's just minimize that whole thing, and let's go ahead and click this. Um, click the artwork, and let's hold the, uh, eli um, the uh, shift key, couldn't think of the word, and let's put this down to the right size visually, and just fit it inside that circle. It's still too big. And let's go here, and now pick it up. Um, that looks like it's pretty good, and that looks like it's pretty well in where I want it to be. I can move, when I get all the artwork done, I could grab everything on that layer and make it bigger, because we're going to have numbers that go around this clock face, so I don't want the artwork interfering with the numbers or the little dashes. So it's not written in stone where it is, but just put it in there visually in the center. Now I'm going to double click the template layer. Do not use transparency to do this, just dim it to 50%. Then pick up your template layer and duplicate it. Let's take it and move it up to the top of the file. You know what this one's going to be called. It's going to be called clicky. This is to grab colors with with the eyedropper and always leave it locked. In fact, leave everything locked except for the thing you're working on. Now double click clicky and undim it. I should have done that already. Undim it. So now my artwork is all set to go to the next level and the next movie is going to show how to create the logo, how to let things like offset path, uh, the scissors tool, and all the little tricks that it takes to keep everything um, uh, efficient and very very productive. So. Um, that's it for the intro movie. You should leave with two circles, one at 11 inches, one at an 80% scale. Your logo is in place with a clicky copy and a dimmed layer. Okay, we'll see you in movie two.